Dean, it's been a quick turnaround for tonight's game at Wrexham. Uh, how's the squad looking? We're a little bit depleted, to be totally honest with you. Um, so, well, we've got a game plan for tonight. Um, Wrexham are in, you know, superb form. We're in solid form. We're going to need a superb performance. And hopefully they have a below solid performance. Um, but we're looking forward to the game. We've got a game plan. Um, and we've got some good players. And it's a great showcase for them players to see if they can... You know, um, show what they're all, what, what they're made of. To be totally honest with you, um, so hopefully our players can perform to the highest level because that's what we're going to need to do tonight. You've spoken about we've got a few injuries within within the uh, the squad at the minute. Can you tell us anything about the uh, the longer term ones? Yeah, long term. So Jamie Torley's having a scan this week. Uh, something wrong with his knee, and um, we don't know what it is till we get the scan. Um, Sam wants the same as a scan this week. Obviously, he's twisted his ankle badly on Saturday in the fourth minute. Um, who else is on there? Injury was, uh, I know I'm looking over at the board here. Uh, Kean Flanagan, reaccordance of his ankle injury, so he's got a scan this week to see if, if that needs an operation. So there's some long term ones. Uh, back in the squad this week, and the physio team have done really well with it, is to get uh, Tomo back in the squad. Sam Beard will have a fitness test tonight. Um, so there's a few question marks really over who's available tonight. So, but look, that's the business. That's the business we're in. Um, and we've got to look forward to tonight if you can't uh, get up for tonight's game you'll never be a, a top professional footballer you're already touching it T- two form teams there how do you see the uh, tonight playing out well, we're going to have to defend well we're going to defend well at times um, we're going to have to make sure we clear the ball well um, because they've got a long throw that's really you know comes in from really far out so we're going to have to make sure when we clear the ball we clear it well we'll show composure um, and we're going into the lines then, really. But this is what football is all about. It's uh, 11 players versus 11 players. No one would have given over a chance a few weeks ago. They went there and did unbelievable what a game that was. And like I say, listen, they're, they're very good going forward. Midfield are excellent side. But we have our own players as well who are good as well. So, you know, they can hurt them. But we need everybody to step up to the plate, really. And we, we've all got to be 8 out of 10 tonight. Wrexham are unbeaten in the last 11 games in, in all competitions. What, what can we do as a team to, to uh, get that run to, to finish? We've got to defend uh, as a unit well. Uh, you know, we can concede the goals, we can see the Saturday, the opportunity we can see the late on as well in the last two games. So we've got to defend slightly better as a team, which we've walked on. Um, albeit just for one day, but we have walked on it. And then what we've got to do then is when we get an opportunity, we've got to use the ball well and we've got to try to silence the crowd. So um, look at the end of the day, look, we're, we're massive outsiders within the game and they're competing for um for a title, to be totally honest with you. They're trying to chase Stockport down and hopefully we can be a ton on their side. The, the fact that the Wrexham are, f- are favourites, do you feel like that might play in our favour a bit? The fact that pressure might be off us slightly? Uh, not really. In a way, it is a free game, but it's not a free game because I want to be where Wrexham are. We're buying a football club. It's, it's as simple as that. I've said this all along, you know. Um, we've got good stability now as a football club. Um, we stayed away from the relegation zone, which is which was imperative. That was the fourth horde, massive horde we had to jump. We've jumped that. Now we've got to, you know, run the rest of the race. It'll take a little bit, a little bit of time now. And, and like I said to you all the time, the players are playing to make sure, you know, they get themselves involved in a team that's going to be near the top end of the table. And that's my job, and that's what I'm going to aim to achieve. How important is it as the first sort of, 10, 15 minutes in a game like this tonight, given their home support? And obviously the, uh, the, the first uh, 10 minutes cost us against Yeovil, didn't they? Yeah, every, every part of this game um, is important. And, you know, if you go back to the last time we played Wrexham here, we played really well for 20 minutes. We used the ball really well. And we made an individual error and got punished. And then they scored two goals in two minutes, a long throw. So, you know, two of our strong bits. Obviously, Mullen is a is hot property in the division. He's top striker. Um, and we know he's a lethal finisher, so we've got to watch him, which we'll try to do. Um, and then you've obviously, like I said, you've got to clear the ball well because the long throw is, is really tough to deal with as well. So they've got loads of strength, but we've got strengths too. We've got ball carriers, we've got Efron, we've got Pace, you've got Coxie, uh, you've got Marriott who's in fine form. So, like I said, we've just got to defend a little bit better, and uh, that'll give us a better opportunity of getting something out of the game. Well, what have you made of Jake Eskew's recent performances? He's obviously just recently um, made his way into the Vanarama team of the week um, for, for his performance against Yeovil. I thought he played better away at the main then, to be totally honest with you. So it's strange how that works. But look, it, I didn't think he had loads of saves to make today. He made one save, I think, if I can remember correctly. And he, he, he's good. he reads the game really well, Jake. He's got great football brain, brilliant background, come from Chelsea. Um, you know, he's a good goalkeeper, to be fair to Jake. Uh, we're lucky enough, we've got a couple of good goalkeepers at our football club. And to be fair, when you get your opportunity, which he's done, he's grabbed it with both hands. That's what you have to do in football. 
uh, especially in this business. So, you know, it's his, it's his short to lose now. So he just has to keep to the standards he set himself in the last two games. If he does that, he's staying in the team. And what would you like to say to the, uh, the Barnet fans making the long trip up there? Yeah, I, I, I suppose uh, our supporters are looking forward to the game as well. It's got a nice spice to it, hasn't it? Let's be honest, you know, everyone probably talks about the Hollywood situation and, you know, and, and, and what Wrexham are doing or trying to do. So we're looking forward to the game and we're massive underdogs. And, uh, you know, f- from our point of view, we've got to make sure we walk our socks off and, and give our fans uh, a performance of something that they're proud of. Thanks for your time. Cheers.